All right. Welcome to another edition of 10 Minutes With. Our guest today is the co-founder. Is co-founder correct? I, I like to say founder. Founder? Okay. I'm founder. the only one who spent any money on it. So yes, founder. <laughs> you are the founder then. Forget the rest yes. of the group. The founder of StrandedSports.com and the Stranded Sports Podcast. Please welcome Nick Hedrick. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. It's my Thanks. first uh, PR visit on any other type of web show or podcast, so you I don't get nervous anymore, but I might be a little nervous today. No, nah, you, you'll, you'll be fine. I mean, you've, you had me on your show a few months back, and I, I kind of hinted at the, the craziness that this is, but we'll try to keep it small <laughs> up saying today, but never goes that way. So Just remember, you can't be any worse than DJ. <gasps> I, I want you two to know my goals right away is that my goal is to either go exactly 10 minutes or be the longest episode you've had. And there's no in between. <laughs> the, first one, the, the, the first one, technically we start the timer. We're going to go over already. I can tell. We start the timer after I introduce you. That's when the 10 minutes starts. Uh -huh. No, that's not and, how this works. I control the timer. Okay. Kate, well, you that's, start opening. that's in theory how it should work. Whether Kate does it or not, that's, that's a different story. So our first show was all by, I was all by myself. I waited two minutes after we started before I started the timer. And then when I stopped it, we were at 17 minutes. So we're probably- And hey, 18's the goal. <laughs> 18, <laughs> let's do it. So back on topic, you have a blog, <laughs> you have a podcast. How did all this start? Oh boy, that's a long story. Um, <laughs> so- <laughs> I see what you did there. I'm 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 long winded too, which makes this e that you're just going to be like this kid needs to shut up. Um, but basically, like my entire childhood, I was really quiet, but I always liked sports. Then high school, I was doing some stuff with the yearbook and doing a lot of the sports stuff in the yearbook my junior and senior year of high school, and I found out I really liked it. So then I went to um college, Robert Morris University by Pittsburgh and studied sports communications while I'm still studying. I have one more year. I might never go back because of Corona. I might never physically be there again, but I'll be online learning there. And then um, my freshman year there, um, we did a tour for their student websites, uh, all their facilities and stuff. And one of them was a radio room. And they said, you can have your own podcast. And I said, I should try that as a way to, you know, keep in touch with my friends from home. I'll like show them my podcast and let them hear my thoughts on current topics and sports. And then they can, you know, talk in our group chat back because we had been friends, most of us since grade school, because we went to a small Catholic grade school together. Then we went to a small Catholic high school together and added a few more. And so I said, these people are going to listen to my podcast. And I know one of the later questions, and I'll tell you, that's the absolute worst way to probably market a podcast towards your friends and your friends only. But um, that's what happened. And, uh, since then, it's been grown, and we've had a few name changes. It started off as The Exchange. Then uh, I'm from Erie, and uh, we have a lake. Some people don't know that, um, believe what? it or not. Really? Yeah, people don't, people don't know where Erie is somehow, even in Pennsylvania. And um, so there's this place called Presque Isle there where it's like a land of – it's land that goes like into the lake. And Presque Isle means almost an island. So we rebranded to Almost an Island Media because we were from Erie. <laughs> and then we went back and changed it to stranded. Cause at the time I was hosting the show by myself and I was like, you're alone with me, you're stranded. And that was basically it. And uh, here we are now. We talked about starting a blog. We've been around for pretty much four, three or four years. Um, every year we started discussions of starting a blog and we finally did it this year, the year that sports got canceled. Makes sense. It's, it, yeah. it, people say that's a very Nick thing to happen. <laughs> Nick or Nicks? Because that sounds like a very Nicks thing, too. Oh, know. yeah. New York. Yeah. There is another Nick involved with Stranded, actually, too. So <laughs> there you go. So you're the Nicks. <laughs> and I always I have to compete with him because I'm always referred to as the other Nick. So Ooh. It's, it's always trying to get out of his shadow, I guess. Yeah. Well, I think you should start going by founder Nick. That, no maybe. Doubt. Maybe the it's like take from the, the Michael Keaton movie about Ray Kroc and McDonald's. He's the founder. He didn't start, <laughs> McDonald's, but he's the founder of McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Although you did start it. So you gotta take control. You're, you're damn right. <laughs>
So how I did try, you- I tried to. So how did you and other Nick meet? Uh, we be- um, believe it or not, I didn't know him. He went to like my grade school, like all the Catholic schools had these, you know, I called them rivalries, I guess, um, in basketball and stuff. And they were one of the teams that always gave us a hard time. And um, we were friends on Facebook before I even met him in like fifth grade. Well, I don't know how old you two were when Facebook became big, but I was in like fifth grade and uh, you just accepted everyone. And we were Facebook friends and we might've commented on each other's crap once in a while. And then uh, high school started, we started hanging out with the same people and we're in our fantasy football league. And now I'm in someone else's shadow permanently. (laughs) Just, yeah, you, if you noticed, I, I, I double face palmed when you said you were in fifth grade when Facebook came out or you got into Facebook. I was in, you know, when Facebook was initially for universities, I was in my sophomore year of college when. Right. Facebook... I'm, I'm sorry to do that to you. I really didn't mean to. <laughs> I just turned 35 the other week. Oh, boy. oh you're old. I know. It sucks. But I did see one of my friends who I haven't seen in a long time. He posted a photo and his hair's like all white now and he's 35 and mine. We're not going to be close to 10 minutes. Is it? No. <laughs> yeah. At this point, I've accepted that fact. But my hair's still looking pretty good. Tied into the hat. <laughs> it's all right. It, you're just hiding all the gray hair. I don't know. have any gray hair. There. No gray hair. <laughs> 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 Boy, this is derailed fast. <laughs> All right. So on a typical episode, which I'm sure that varies tremendously, what oh, yeah. did a listener expect to hear from you guys? Oh, uh, well, thankfully during the quarantine, we finally had the brilliant idea of maybe people don't really care about a bunch of college kids they don't know talking about sports. Maybe we should get some interviews. Um, that started with you, I think. Actually, my buddy that graduated from RMU, that works for the MLB network was our first interview, oh. but we knew him. You were the first person we interviewed that we didn't know. Awesome. Um, we, we addressed that on the show. We were talking about it earlier. <laughs> um, uh, then we've interviewed some sports writers. We've interviewed uh, former MLB players uh, trying to branch out a little bit more. NHL players are hard to contact or former ones we found out. Uh, but yeah, we had the brilliant idea a couple months ago to finally start interviewing people. Uh, three weeks ago now we interviewed michael McHenry, um a former pirate who i love <laughs> that was and so he, great <laughs> he was he was really pirate. cool what was that is he a legit pirate like does he have like a hook no or... no, no he he just played like, baseball like on um, his shirt <laughs> um, but he was cool he roasted me right away which let me know that he was going to be a good guest for our show um and just you know, I really enjoy hearing the athletes tell their stories and stuff. And I think your first question to me was, why did you start this? And I completely just gave you the history and never addressed why I started it. Um, but I did indeed start it because I like hearing stories because everyone has a story. And I think we try to, you know, create stories in our heads of, you know, what people have been through and what their lives have been like, but we really don't know anything until you really have a conversation with them. And so to answer this question again, I'm really, I told you I was going to talk my butt off. I don't know what I, you know, Um, but typical episode, just a brand, (laughs) typical episode these days, uh, we do an interview and now that things are kind of normal, we know each other's schedule. We'll talk about actual, you know, sporting events mixed in with the interview. Um, Just, you know, the hosts of our show giving our thoughts on everything. So we finally have become every other sports podcast and we have an interview and then we talk about what we think. We also have some segments like uh, who are you people um, where we go and find 2000s athletes that were really good for like one year. And then we try to guess who they are based off the vague information, uh, information I give them. And then we have a uh, trivia segment as well. So, I mean, it's fun. It's laid back. And I think if you're just looking for a good casual listen, um, it's definitely for you. Uh, I hate when people uh, get mad at me, though, and so that keeps me from being too opinionated. Um, I was told by some Buffalo people that they turned off the episode and never listened again when I said that uh, I thought Jacoby Brissett was having a better start to his season than Josh Allen when the Colts like started off really well. Yeah, pissed off the Bills Mafia. Mm, and I was like, given weird. the circumstances, you know, he got thrown into this. And, you know, they're doing pretty well. Obviously, that didn't age well, but at the time, it made sense. But hearing people turn off my show, our show, sorry, uh, because of things like that makes me sad. So 
But it's it's fun. It's fun. can you really say like I feel like saying you've made it when somebody angrily turns you off. I mean, all the the big time radio hosts in the world. I mean, they they have probably hundreds and thousands of people on a daily basis angrily turning them off and changing the channel and getting right. But the weird thing about this was I was driving them. Erie's halfway. They live in Buffalo, and Erie's halfway to Buffalo from Pittsburgh, basically. And we just got in the car and they told me this and neither one of them had paid me for gas. And then they started crapping on my podcast. And I'm like, I have every reason to just leave you in this parking lot right now. (laughs) So I drove them back. It was all right. It took four hours to get to Erie from Pittsburgh, which is like an hour and 45 minute drive because traffic was so bad. So that was a car ride from hell. I'd like to tell everyone people crapped on my podcast. We waited in traffic and, Oh, next question. <laughs> next question. <laughs> I, I wanted to go back real quick and say the, the Michael McHenry episode, you released a clip uh, hyping it, and I just, it, it cracked me up. And I, I remember this, but I forgot until I saw that again with the blown call. Oh, yeah. Was like the 19th inning or something yeah. like that. And it was just, a, it was, they're playing the Braves. Guy slides in, very clearly tagged out. Body language, he's out called safe games over (laughs) because it's like two in the morning yeah yeah that was uh i've always wanted to like ask him that and that sounds like cliche because he was actually on the show and i was like growing up a pirate fan suffering for all those years before they had those couple wild card appearances and got blown up um i was like i wonder what he thought about that and i got to ask him so you know that's why i do this you know to ask people questions like that and he cut me off before I finished it too, because I implied that I tried to take the fair narrative and was like, so it looks like you got him out. And he goes, no, I did get him. out." And I was so taken aback by that. I stumbled over my words for the rest of the question. So and that was like eight or nine years ago. And he's still very clearly upset. about. That. I loved it. That's how I would be too. I mean, after the 19th inning and you lose off of what was clearly a bad call in the pre-replay era, I mean, I I can see why I'd be upset. Right. No, I would too. All right, Kate, you want to ask the next one? What's one piece of advice you would give a starting podcaster or blogger? That's a great question because I don't know if I have figured out the uh, podcast blogging thing yet, but uh, I like to think I have. Uh, But as I touched on earlier, you know, um, I made a podcast specifically for, hey, friends, listen to this because I reference you. Um, Don't do that. Uh, I can remember first episodes of my podcast. My one buddy always gives us crap, us Steelers fans crap, because he's a Browns fan and he tries to twist stuff to, uh, hi, Adam, if you're watching this, I'm going to make you. Um, And Adam, please watch. He always, he always twists stuff around and goes, oh, boy, Steelers fans, this must make you worried. And it's funny coming from a Browns fan. Um, and so, like, episodes – he's an example. There are many of this. Early episodes would be like, uh, the Steelers play the Browns. Hey, Adam, what do you think about this? And, like, if you're just casually watching my show, you're like, who's Adam? And you're probably rewinding it to hear if I address Adam beforehand. But, no, I just name-dropped my friends, like, the first half year I was doing this consistently. Um, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Um, but definitely also to go along with that, I think the launch of a podcast is extremely crucial to it starting off successful. Um, I really wish we would have, and again, I never thought of it going into me spending hundreds of dollars a year on domain names and, you know, free merchandise and crap, but, uh, definitely, you know, like set follower goals and be like, Hey, if we get to a hundred followers before our first podcast, we'll give away, you know, two free shirts to people or just things like that, building up to the launch better. I really wish we would have done that. But I mean, I can't complain. Life is good. We have a good core audience now and it's starting to grow as we get some more uh, notable guests on and stuff. But definitely to anyone starting out, obviously you want your friends to support it, but don't build it as around. They're the only people that are going to listen. Um, unless you're into that sort of thing. I don't know what you're into. It's a free country. DJ has no friends. It's okay. True. I, I'm his friend. I, um, thank, you. thank you. I don't like yeah. Purdue though. Um, but you know, so that would be, that would be my piece of advice. The um, other thing too, real quick that I want to highlight is that uh, when I, I got involved uh, with you guys earlier, you, uh, you, you actually were doing a online fundraiser. Uh, right. Pittsburgh children's hospital. Can you tell us about a little bit about that? 
Uh, yeah. So, um, this always, this is the first time I've brought it up like this. I don't like to bring it up sometimes, but this is a good platform, I suppose. Um, I am a cancer survivor. Um, six years now, knock on wood, it, it gets to seven. Um, liver cancer just complete actually found out because of baseball. Um, I got hit with a pitch and things I won't go into the fun details. Um, but hit by a pitch and some tests showed some stuff. And so, you know, my make a wish was actually to meet Andrew McCutcheon during his MVP season. Um, so that was awesome. And he was really cool and really good to me and kind of broke the narrative that all athletes are self-centered, you know, what's, um, but you know, and I'm still treated at the children's hospital. They'll treat you up until you graduate college. And so, uh, I was like, I should really give back to them. And we did a live stream on the anniversary of my six years of beating cancer. And we raised, I think it ended up being around $700 Awesome. And for a podcast that gets usually less than, you know, a hundred listens or so. I mean, it was really cool that we were able to do that. And I think doing things like that, I mean, that's just why, you know, you do it. You want to have a platform to help out other people too. And again, when I touched earlier on why I do this is to tell stories. If you looked at me, you wouldn't know that you'd see a sarcastic, you know, asshole ginger that's, you know, scrawny and you're like, boy, I want to punch this guy in the face. And even with the new information, you might be thinking that, but um, you know, I think you wouldn't know that you wouldn't know that I was really shy growing up. You wouldn't know about, you know, tough mental illness problems in high school. You'd see the funny guy on the outside that I hope you guys think I'm funny that are watching this. Um, you'd see that you'd draw your conclusions, but you know, you wouldn't know that I went through those things. So that's why I love doing what I do and, you know, being part of what I'm involved with is to have other people on and talk about what they've been through and maybe give fans of these players, like a new perspective on like, wow, I didn't know that they went through this or that. And I think, again, that's just a really cool benefit of doing what we do as, you know, podcasters and, you know, web show hosts and things of that nature. I have good news for you. You're going to break the record. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. Let's, uh, let's plug where to find your show and your social media. Uh, stranded sports.com is our blog. Um, it's off and on. We'll have like 10 articles, then no articles. Um, we're college kids trying to make money. Um, so sometimes the blog that makes little to no money <laughs> takes a backseat. Uh, stranded underscore sports is our Twitter. Uh, it tells us stranded sports is taken. So we have to put the underscore in there, but I have not found one account called stranded sports um, with that at name. So whatever, but luckily Instagram were stranded sports. Um, no underscore on Instagram. You know, we're the um, opposite. <laughs> yeah, me, <laughs> my underscore on Instagram, no underscore on, on Twitter. No. Uh, yeah. 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 You'd think, you'd think, um, my personal is Hedrick underscore Nick, um, or century Hedrick. It's called RMU century media is our school website. So if you want the more PR -y looking happy, here's my work presented to you. I'd follow century Hedrick S C N T R Y. Then my last name, if you want the, what, what is this kid on? He's on Twitter at 2 a.m. again. Why is he saying these things? That's Hedrick underscore Nick on Twitter. If you're interested in hearing more of my thoughts. Um, I remember those days when I was young enough to stay up till 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Um, my last big tweet was about the Logan Paul and Antonio Brown boxing match. It got like eight likes, and that's pretty good for me, even though all of my tweets, I think, deserve to go viral. But it is what it is. We had a uh, moment with Jake Paul here last weekend involving a uh, some looting in Scottsdale. I heard of that. He got charged. Let me slap on the wrist, but they charged. <laughs> Good for them. Good <laughs> for them. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Nick, thanks again for being on the show. Kay, what's the official time? We are at 19 minutes and yes. 11 seconds. All right. New record. We're, like I said. You can't see my arms, but I was bowing. I wasn't just bobbing my head around. <laughs> 10 minutes with is like the Big Ten, where accounting hasn't mattered since 1989. I liked that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go check out Stranded Sports. Give them a follow. Give them a follow us at Stadium Scene uh, on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Stadium underscore scene on Instagram. Join the network at stadiumscene.tv, and we will see you next time.